So if you're getting tired not being able to pull a consistent sound at your gigs and rehearsals as well as having to lug around your heavy amp and pedal boards, then the Headrush Flex Prime might be the ultimate compact solution for you. What I'm going to do in this video today is teach you people how to access six different sounds from the one rig, switching amps and effects to unlock the full creative potential of this powerful little unit. So let's jump in and get to it. Okay, so before we jump in and learn how to set up our scenes to get the six different sounds out of the Flex Prime, let's jump in and demo the little rig I've put together here. So the first rig here was scene number one. I've just got a Fender Blackface with a Klon running in front of it. So if we have a listen to it too. <laughs> Okay, so something really nice, really clean. With the second tap, we've just got a phaser set up there. So we've got these cool modulated sounds. Cool, for scene number two, we switch it over here and you can see in the amp position in the bottom left corner, I've set that up to change the amp from a Fender to a Marshall Plexi sound. So a huge amount of potential you can unlock just by switching the amps on these scenes. So let's check out this sound here. So. <laughs> With a simple touch of the second foot switch, I've set it up so the second side of the B side of this scene, we've got delay on it so we can use this as a lead tone. So. Okay, nice little overdriven lead tone there. If we switch to the third scene, we look in the amp setting in the bottom left there. I've set it up with a high gain sound. So I've changed the amp out from a Plexi 800 Marshall sound into an SL100 Soldano model there. We've got the Buddha Zen Man pushing that to the front of the amp to give us a really cool high gain sound. So let's check it out. So. <laughs> Cool, and then if we second tap that, we've got a bit of delay on that to give us a high gain lean sound. Okay, so you can see that by using scenes, even though we've only got three foot switches there, we've got a huge amount of potential sounds we can access to get creative with in a live setting using the Flex Prime. So let's jump in and check out how to set this up. All right, so getting set up, first thing we need to make sure is that we have the Flex Prime in stomp mode okay so you hold that by holding down the first button brings up stomp mode and this is going to allow us to set up our scenes once we've got the unit set up like that we need to come up and push the middle icon in the top right hand corner which is going to take us to the pedal assign screen now we've got three colored uh, boxes here which we can change to be either pedals off and on or set them as scene so the way you alter that is by changing the bottom button there Okay, to come in and edit each one of our scenes, we push the top of the icon and you can see we've got all of our pedals laid out here. Now the next point, I'm going to quickly pop out of this to show you how to set our scenes up correctly. I'll just grab any old rig here. So what we need to do to be able to have two sides of our scenes, as you can see here with this um, other rig I've opened up it has a one and then there's a plus sign next to the one so currently that's only one scene you can switch between so if we come up and push the plus button you can see that gives us a second scene and then that way you can a b by touching the scene from one to the other so you need to make sure you've got two scenes set up before we go into editing all right so once you've got that set up we're then going to jump back in to the pedal assign and then we're going to go and edit our scenes so you can see each one of these blocks here represents all the different effects that we've loaded into our signal blocks here. So I've got the wah, the phaser, the K-drive, the Buddha Zen Man, the amp, 
impulse response, a volume pedal, multi-chorus, delay, and then reverb. So what I've done for my first scene is I've just simply set up the K-Drive on, the amp on, the impulse response on, obviously, and then just a bit of reverb. Now, it's super important to make it really simple to edit these scenes so you don't have to keep jumping back and forward to either set them to on or off. You can set certain pedals as no change, which means when you change scenes, if you have an effect block that's on, that's gonna carry over to the next scene. However, this can become problematic when you've got multiple scenes side by side, particularly with this AB function, you might be switching something and not realize that you didn't set something off which means you're gonna to have to go in and re-edit. So simple way to work around that, just have it either on or off regarding what scene you're using. Okay, so what I did for the second side of this first scene, if we come up to number two here, all I did was just turn the phaser on and add a little bit of delay there and a bit of chorus to add to the, mod the modulation side of things. All right, if we jump in and check out our second scene, which has got our Marshall amp change there so what we do is we're going to pop out go into edit number two and you can see with the amp you can come down and select the bottom of that there and that's going to pop up and give you the options if you want to switch out your amps okay so that's a cool function to be able to pull a huge array of sounds out of this unit here and access all the processing power okay so with the third scene we've got a pretty similar setup so we jump on in we open up the edit function, okay? All I've got is the K drive off and the Zen man running into the amp impulse response for the rhythm sound. And what I did is I just changed out different amp sound with the SL100 drive there, okay? And then for scene number two, all I did to turn that to a lead sound was just add a little bit of delay and turn the reverb on. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like on the unit now once we've got out of pedal assign mode. So jumping back in, we've got our first scene. Okay, you can see I've just got the clone on into the Fender Blackface there. Turn on that access as our reverb, our delay, and our phaser. Scene number two, the amp switches to the plexi with the clone in the front of it with a bit of reverb. And then the second side of that scene is the delay. And then for scene number three, Got our high gain sound with just a rhythm sound there with the Zen Man running into the Soldano SL100. And then we've got reverb and delay to give us that high gain lead sound. So there you have it. By using scenes, you can set the Flex Prime up as a super powerful and functional compact unit for your next live gig or rehearsal. Just by using three switches, you've got access to all those different sounds. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And if you wanna check out any of my online classes or private lessons, follow the links below to hpmguitar.com. My name's Ryan Wyatt. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna catch up with you all in the next video.